Hey everybody, my name is Sean Gerke, and this is my week three presentation for web interaction and animation. This is going to be an introduction to Stellar.js. So what is Stellar.js? It is a simple framework made by Mark Dalgleish, who is a UI engineer from Melbourne, Australia. Now this jQuery plugin basically creates a smooth parallax effect on any element either vertically or horizontally and is made to work with very minimal markup in the HTML. The first step is to initialize Stellar.js. So basically whatever element that you run Stellar against it will search through the element that element looking for any data-stellar attributes. You can place the data-stellar attribute on any element that is positioned other than static. So you can choose to do that on a div element or any kind of element as long as it's not static. Um, when you place the ratio attribute along with the data dash stellar, this is what allows that function to change the scroll speed. So the options for that are half speed, uh, and that's 0.5. 1 equals normal scroll. 2 is twice as fast. Now, you can even use those on negative numbers, but be advised that using negative numbers and targeting background images may cause your page to become a little jittery. To fix this, simply add a background attachment of fixed and you should be okay. So here's a little example of the code that I, I put together. Um, I'm targeting three sections with background images and a div element which will allow, I'm sorry, which will scroll at a different rate over the images. So let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So here's the first background image, and then it's going to have a div over the top with an H1 in it. Now when you scroll, it goes at a little bit different pace. Now this is, these are fixed items with a little bit different ratio on them. So as you scroll through here, I'm scrolling pretty slow right now, just to kind of show you the different pace that things are going. So you saw that for the game comes up. Now this parallaxing effect is very good for storytelling and things like that, but parallaxing itself should kind of be monitored. Uh, a lot of people overuse it uh, and it becomes one of those tacky things that, that people go a little overboard with. But if you stick to basics and, and small uses and um, don't overdo it, you, you should be fine. So let's take a look at the code. So here's the code for the example uh, of Stellar.js demo. Um, basically I'm just using a style sheet using normalize get rid of everything as a CSS reset. Um, bringing in jQuery and then after jQuery bringing in Stellar and the minified version. So the first thing I'm going to do here is initialize Stellar.js. So basically I'm calling it on the window. Um, you can call it on any element, any kind of jQuery thing. You could call it on two if you would like. You can call it on anything that you would like. Um, but I'm just going to use the window. Um, these are some of the options that I've chosen. There are plenty more options, but for myself, I didn't want it to be able to scroll left and right um, here with the horizontal, so I went to false with it. But we'll get into the documents in a minute. Um, so this is a pretty simple concept here. Basically, I'm wrapping the whole thing up in a div, which has three different sections in it, and which I'm IDing with one, two, and three. So each one of them has a class of background or BG pick. Um, now that is what I'm going to position relative. That way it's not static and I'll be able to call the data-stellar-background ratio. Um, and this is what changes um, how it scrolls. So the first one I have is 0.2, which is pretty slow. One, remember, is a normal pace. 0.2 um, is, is going to scroll pretty slowly. So each one of these I have going up a little bit and just a little bit faster. Um, what I did notice with this, if you went really crazy with this stuff, you really have to mess with the size of your elements. Otherwise, if one's scrolling up really slowly and one's fast, you're going to have a huge gap in between. And there's not a whole lot of space there. Um, the next ones, my divs inside of here. So in those divs, I have H1s, and each one of those go at a pace of three. So it's a little bit faster than, than normal. Remember, one is normal, two is double the speed. Um, so also, these are background images in here, so I used a background attachment of fixed. 
Um, I also took all of those images, of the background images, and made those fixed with no repeat on them. And I even bumped up um, the last image a little bit just to, to be able to view a little bit better for the people in the image. So that's pretty much it. You can basically call data dot, uh, data dash stellar dash ratio on any element, and then if it's a background image, you want to use the background ratio onto it. Um, if you are interested in downloading this file, stellar.js, let's get back over to the reveal. You ask, where can I get it? Well, you can go to markdegleish.com backslash projects backslash stellar.js backslash um, docs or download um, or you can just search it on Google stellar.js um, so up on the top there's a big download button um, but right now I'm in the docs so I'm going to show you a little bit about this here For one of the easiest sites I've found that you know all the docs are right here uh, how to use everything how to call everything the you see the data.stellar background ratio kind of explains everything throughout, uh, makes everything pretty easy to understand. Now, pretty easy to download as well. So if you go to download, it's going to bring you over to GitHub. Inside of the GitHub, you can have a development or a production version. Um, you can go ahead and click on any one that you choose. And then when you're here, you can go to save as um, and then save it wherever you'd like. So it's pretty easy there. And then the documentation is also in GitHub, so you can be able to find out exactly um, how to run each one of the elements. Again, so if you're running Stellar.js in the window, you can use the shorthand, which is just the dollar sign, which I've chosen to do. Um, it also does some cool other things. So take a look at the library. Go and look at some of the demos. Stellar.js. It's a pretty cool little site. All right, thank you.